Hey, Blink Squad. So, the lighting is a little bit low. And I kind of have bad head. Even that was purposely done because this video is going to be a little bit more intimate. And hey, what more intimate place than your bed? Excluding the bathroom. <laughs> So, on this video for this Learn Something Sunday, you guys are going to learn a little bit more about bee stings. So, if there's any little kids around or anyone who, you know, may be a little sensitive to this subject, I would say go ahead and take the time to remove them or yourself from the viewing area. All right, so now that it's just us, V-steams. A V-steam, vaginal steam, yoni steam. Basically, when you sit over some herbs that have been put together more than a professional in the medical world, maybe a doula, a uh, midwife, or even sometimes just a person who studies herbs and more holistic way of life. Excuse me. So, anyhow, <laughs> they've gotten together a potion per se or a mixture of herbs that is I guess you could say um relative on my journey to trying to conceive I am going to be doing things like documenting all the different methods that I use giving you guys updates so on and so forth and today we're going to be talking as I stated a little earlier about a V-Steam. So I did one. I believe it was either Wednesday or Thursday night. I had a V-Steam. And if you check out the next clip, it kind of runs you through. Now I'd like to apologize beforehand because <laughs> Lauren actually did the videoing. And it's a little bit shaky. But hey. She's a nine-year-old. What can you expect? She's not a professional. She did the best that she could. So you guys go ahead and check that clip out once this clip is done. And we'll get back together again. But before I go, as I was stating, a V-steam, yoni steam, vaginal steam. It's put together by someone in the professional, the medical profession or even someone who just studies a more holistic way of life. They put it together specifically for you and your needs. You sit over a pot and you let the steam kind of go into your yoni or vagina. And it's supposed to help cleanse you out. It's supposed to tighten it up. And it's supposed to just overall be really good for your, um, your health. Per se and like I said I did one there's a lot of skepticism in the um, the pharmaceutical world I guess you could say and even some doctors OBGYNs they do not recommend it I actually did some research before I did it and whoo there's some people who are not happy about it. They do not believe there's any reason to do it. They believe it can actually harm you more than it can help you. They believe that, yeah, no, don't do it. It's not right, whatever. Then, of course, as I stated, some midwives, doulas, and those who study and practice a more holistic way of life believe there's nothing wrong with it, believe that, you should do it maybe once a month, like after your uh, menstrual cycle, which is actually when I did mine. And 
you know, yeah, it's a great thing. With all the controversy, all the mixed feelings and, you know, research behind it, I was nervous. I was scared, but I did it. And I'm happy I did it, to be completely honest. But we're not going to go that far. Check out the clip or the, the next few clips. So, Hey, Bling Squad. And welcome back. So today we will be showing you and talking a little bit about my first V-Steam. So I actually had to go to two different stores to get this stainless steel bowl. So the first thing you want to do is wash it out. Yep. You want to make sure that it is clean. This is going to be used in a very personal and sensitive part of your body. So as you see, there's a little bit of water in there. I washed it out with hot water and soap. And then, as you see, I just flipped the, ah. the toilet seat up. <laughs> well, this will work so I can show them how it's done. Flip the toilet seat up, and you take the bowl, and you kind of hook it on, and then put the toilet seat back down. And there you go. I will be sitting on that in a little while. So let's go to... Guys. So the next step is to pour out your ingredients based on the um, the uh, directions that I got from the store. I'm going to be pouring a half of a cup into my bowl. So oh. I'm just portioning out. I think that's a little bit more than a half a cup. So if you guys are wondering what this is, if you looked at yesterday's video, this is the um, mix that we got at the um, Herbal Planet store, I think. Uh -huh. So that's the mix right there, and mommy's just gonna pour half. Of we poured six cups, mm -hmm. six cups of water in this pan, and now we're going to boil it. Boil it. So there it is. Mommy started to boil it, and I'll see you guys on the throne. So mommy's lighting some candles to relax. He steam, so you guys know is very much a part of um self-care so with that stated i'm trying to set my bathroom up to be relaxing i've got some nice Can scented candles that i'm going to have burning while i have my steam i think i'm also going to set up my uh my foot bath that brandon has for me Ooh, yeah, that would be nice. And then I can massage your feet. I'm going to sit up. You get a whole situation going on. So that's the tub right there. And it's going to be right under the throne. So there it is. Put a little bit of eucalyptus. Oh, yeah. So mommy has some oils that she puts in there. And it like, like. Well, these are bath good. salts. Yeah, bath salts. Bath. Bath. Ah, I can't say it right. Just pouring in the eucalyptus bath salt. And now, when then, I think you put like hot water in there or something? Yeah, yeah hot, water. Some hot water. Oh, and that's the foot, there's foot stuff in here too. Like, that. there's a um, foot scrubber right here. I think this mm -hmm. is a foot set that, um, it's not open yet. Oh. No, not right now. Okay. No, oh, this is hand. relaxing. I'm not pedicuring nothing. So we got some Epsom salt. And we got some eucalyptus bath salts in there. And then we're going to put some hot water in. And I'll get some hot water as long as it's stated. So we got my nice little mix there. Water is boiling. Waiting for that. And we've got a little. Guys, so I'm filling up the water over there for mommy's foot thing. And this is what it kind of looks like stew, but. So this is a mixture of calendula, red clover, roses, raspberry leaf, and marshmallows. But Lauren thinks it looks like... Still, Mommy, still, just look at it. Right. <laughs> oh, so Mommy's um, relaxing. So I am doing my steam as we speak. I have my in my little uh, foot bath here, nice hot water, I'm sitting over the steam, and the direction says to do this for about 20 to 30 minutes. We start
started at about 9 o'clock. So, yeah, about 9.30, I'll get up. So far, it's nice, uh, it's calming. I made sure it wasn't too hot. <laughs> um, I didn't even let the water boil up all the way, so it's definitely not too hot. It really feels calming. Um, yeah, it's just like sitting over some steam, basically. So we'll see what happens. So we're back. Interesting, right? <laughs> yes, I did have just a towel on over me. Hey, I was doing self-care and I was in the comfort of my own home. You're lucky I let you in. Okay, let me stop. So yeah, you guys saw that was me doing my V-steam. I showed you how to kind of set it up. The directions, of course, are in the description of this video, as well as a link to an article that I read that is just like, no, no V-steaming, don't do it. And if you search online, you can find even more, mainly from OBGYNs who are just like, no, don't do it, it's bad. But I'm going to be honest with you. I did it. I did it in the comfort of my own home. And yeah. So what happened after the V-Scene? Well, one of the things they say can happen is it can tighten you up. Yeah, I felt that. Like, literally. It felt as though my vajayjay was throbbing or pulsing and again through the research um it states if it's your first time doing it they don't recommend you have sex for at least 24 hours so i did not have sex that night but of course the next night i did and brandon says he could tell the difference now i'm going to tell you what he said in his own words Brandon said that most men try to find a pocket and the pocket that he felt or he found was a little bit tighter than normal. So there's that. I mean, I felt it as it was happening because it's my body, but even 24 hours later, probably more than 24 hours if I think about it, because we actually had sex really really late that night and he felt it too he was like yeah he could tell the difference it just felt more snug like it it fit him more you know snug it was tighter just straight up that's what he said I asked him and he answered that's what he said so there's that another thing that I've noticed is I have been more um, aroused. Like I've wanted sex even more recently. And no, I am not in my fertile window because as you all know, I have been trying to conceive. So I've been doing things like tracking ovulation, tracking basal body temperature, all that good stuff. My fertile window isn't until actually next week. And I've just been more aroused. I've wanted sex more. And it doesn't matter if it's in the morning or if it's in the afternoon. I just, at random times of the day, I just want to have sex more. And that's just that. Another thing I've noticed. Shortly after, like maybe one to two hours, I had a lot of um, wetness. I felt very wet, like I just could not stop, like a faucet. I literally had to put on a uh, panty liner. And as many of you know, no woman is completely dry. However, I just noticed I was a whole lot more wet. I just, yeah, more wet than usual. So there's also that. Again, 
My fertile window is next week. I am tracking my basal body temperature. I am tracking my mucus and, you know, even my uh, my LH surge. For more information on all of that, just keep watching this channel. You'll get it. You'll know what I'm talking about. You can also check out the video that I did about the um, TTC vocabulary. It's in this channel somewhere. Just go ahead and find that video and watch it. So I'll keep you guys updated. But those were the main things that I've noticed. Now, of course, I can't tell you anything about taking care of cramps and stuff like that until my next cycle. But I do plan to continue to steam because for me, at least, I have no pain. I haven't noticed anything negative. I've actually no noticed a few positives, as I described, and I'm comfortable with it. So I will continue to do it. Um, for those of you out there who feel comfortable, maybe you can mask up at this time, of course, because we're in a global pandemic and go to a spa. My first time, as you saw, I did it right in the comfort of my own home. I would definitely, definitely 100% tell you, be careful of the steam itself make sure that it is not too hot you can do so as the instructions state which again are in the description of this video take your finger put in the water and test the heat that way i say it's better to burn your finger than the walls of your vagina just being honest but yeah please do some more research as always i am not a medical professional I am not a doctor, so I'm just telling you my feelings, my experience, and what happened for me. I cannot confirm that these will be the things that you experience as well, but again, in my opinion, I'm not a medical doctor. It doesn't hurt to try it out. So until the next video, Bling Squad. As always, remember, the journey continues. And don't forget to like, share, and, you know, give me some comments on this video. If you want to know when I post new videos, make sure you hit that notification bell. And if you'd like to continue to follow me on this journey, be sure to subscribe to this channel. See y'all later.